So uh, the I will say that the young priest uh, who is really not very experienced or not very skilled, but he has a strong connection to the to the, the queen of the moon and so forth, uh, is taking the responsibility of welcoming you here and uh, uh, and and seeing to seeing to your business. Mm. You know, what what can we do? I'm just gonna stay well, like one step behind Erico because I think it's uh, mm-hmm. his neck of the woods. So you're gonna have to do the talking <laughs> if that's cool with you. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Go ahead and make uh, a roll, and you see you have your local knowledge. Uh, where's that? Uh, local knowledge. Should be here in skills. Oh, there, yeah. yeah, 35. Okay, so it's not that great. So you want 35 or less. So we will see if you... Ooh. Oh, an 18. Yeah. Excellent. Well, wh- that means that you uh, are able to orient pretty well uh, and to recognize where you are, to get an idea that this is a pretty safe place to be, but that it is not uh, very... Th- th- there is no real protection for strangers. To be greeted by the priest and treated nicely is a great start, but it will only last for this particular area. And so as soon as you travel away from there, uh, it will be less safe. And also that these uh, these people don't really have much direct connection even with your area. So that means they don't have a lot of news. They don't have a lot of connection to the powers. They don't care that your community of scholars thinks that you're weird or dangerous. They don't care. Um, They don't don't care at all about your exiled status from the city. Um, And so this is good in the sense that they might be, you know, reasonable to interact with. Um, And they also probably, if there is any of the the old gods evidence here which all of your research says there is these people would know it they would so these these are people who would know about strange ruins where nobody goes these people would know all about ancient legends that probably have never traveled outside of the area so this is a, a particularly good place to try to orient um, and you, and one last thing, uh, both of you, this is one way that we do things in this game. Uh, you take your intelligence and you will, this is old, old school mechanics. I'm afraid they're kind of irritating. You will multiply it by five. Yeah. So and then the that's the number that you are rolling. Yeah. In later RuneQuest, they finally had a brain and just said, Hey, wait a minute. Why don't we use a D20 yeah. and just use the number? Yep. But it took them a long time to figure that out. Mm. So, okay. um, so therefore, go ahead and roll uh, for that value. So for you, that's going to be sixty, and for you, I think a little bit. Uh, oh, Sixty-one. Oh, oh, damn it. Sixteen. Oh, yeah, eighty or less 80. for yeah. you. Yeah. Twenty-seven. Okay, excellent. Uh, I want you to put a check. Next to uh, your. Uh, does anyone have an extra pencil? Yeah. Mm. Um, if Thank you. Not for this roll, but for the one before local knowledge, put a check next to it. Uh, just a check. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We will test it afterward to see if it increases. So that's why they are a little bit better at some of their skills than you because they had adventures last time. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah, well a couple that of things sense. went up. Yeah. yeah. So, therefore. Uh, again, okay, so you are you are uh, trying to, I would say that Jovan is probably trying to understand what isn't being said. Close, but, but, close but well, you know, you're, you're, yeah, yeah. so it's kind of hard to tell what they're thinking, I guess. I can show so, my medallion of office. R- yeah, that yeah, didn't work out so well. Um, and so the, uh, in your case, however, um, you will see that they are a little bit nervous and that they have uh, a number of people have gathered perhaps more than these buildings here can hold and that they have brought wagons with spears and also axes that are too light to use on trees and you know these kinds of axes because you are wearing three of them 
That's <laughs> right. Um, you have noted through your travels that people in this area have a particular way of fighting that you have not really seen before. That's extremely disturbing. Hmm. They carry these. They they look. They're called small axes, but they're really pretty. Yeah. Pretty solid, and they throw them from any position. So they could be holding it down here with the head of the axe down, and then they will just do this and throw. So this these axes just come out of nowhere. Totally unfair. Yeah. So That's they Belgians. Yeah. <laughs> so you, they, this is a technique of fighting in the north that you are you are used to the spear fighting and things like that, working with allies and stuff like that. And this this is kind of like some sort of strange okay, yeah. kind of thing for you. Mm. Um, so, but anyway, so you can see these these weapons are coming in wagons. Uh, people are taking the old axes and sharpening them. Uh, this, so you are you, they're not doing this right in front of you, but you kind of see a guy over there and a guy over there, and yeah. you know a woman over here is like putting the spears into the ground, you know, yeah. sticking them into the ground in a row and ready for someone to run up and grab when they need Maybe another we one. Get the hell out of here! Yeah, so you're getting the idea yeah, that they are, so you know, the the priest is 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 telling you everything is all right. Everything is all right. And so your intelligence role has let you know that the priest is being maybe a little too, <laughs> a, a little too optimistic. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> going to a little effort to talk to you this way. Okay. So, uh, what will you do? Either uh, of you? I don't know. What will we do? Can, we, can we get more information about ancient ruins, stuff like that, yeah, or should that we just like get the hell out of here because we only get like two ways? Basically, the way we came, roadwise, or push forward towards the the, the waterways. Well, we need to know about the ruins so we can find yeah. them. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I'll ask someone about uh, the some ancient ruins. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The priest should. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the priest should. Yeah, ask the priest mm -hmm. about some ancient ruins. Um, well, the the general. Uh, the general point, the way he will phrase this, is that since everybody here is such a good follower of the, the, the Moon Queen, the Star and Moon Queen, whoever she is, I just made that up. Mm -hmm. um, whoever, but since everybody here is such a good follower of her and all of the other faithful gods and spirits, we would never have anything to do with anything like that place over there. <laughs> good enough. <Yeah. laughs> he's, he's being, I think, a pretty good guy. He's letting you know, but yeah. he's kind of saving saving his dignity. And he's pointing towards the forest Here. or oh, up there. Okay. Um, and there's only one problem, which is that that seems to be the region from which they are most concerned in terms of defense. Uh, oh, Ask them if they seem to seem to to other people that don't fit in. <laughs> ah, that's uh, a fairly good question. Um, nobody here, because they greeted you as if you were okay. the first strangers. But on the other hand, people are arriving, right? Uh, people are arriving. When I say people are coming with their wagons, they are coming over this bridge and mm -hmm. down this road. So uh, they are coming from. But Maybe as a priest, just in case, because he's the only one that seems unarmed at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> um, so let's wait just a moment, yeah. um, and if you want to get a little bit more information and decide whether you want to abandon these people or to see what their problem is or anything like that, that's up to you. So um, I will say that if you go off on your own, neither of you really has the skills to go off no. into the woods and run around looking for people. Um, so if you're going to get any help, if you're going to do that, you're going to need some help. Yeah. We need a friend. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, um, we need as much intel as we can get, yeah. can get, but we also need to get the hell out of here. Mm -hmm. It kind of feels like yeah. that. <laughs> so, Tight spot. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Short and sweet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now, let us take a quick look at our friends to see their situation, um, which of course is just fine. So what shall you do? 
Shall you traverse? Shall you go through this uh, this inviting door? What crazy bat person she sits out thinking about dangerous light, too much love. Mm -hmm. Oh, and by the way, One this room is dark, is but room, this right? as this door is opening, it's brilliantly lit on the other side. Very bright light over here. She was nice and all, but... She's a bad day and night creatures, right? So uh, yeah. And there's um, anywhere, I mean, anyway, there is no other way, so... Uh, Carefully? I, I guess the, 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 the creature who lives at the look. top of this ruins tower, which is very separate from the bottom, is a woman, formerly a woman, who had been uh, mutated by chaos far worse than anything he has. So she is hardly human at all, and is uh, mostly bat now, hmm. and um, is is continually pregnant with thousands and thousands and thousands of bats that swarm the area, and is uh, just rational enough to be disturbing. They were able to interact with her because she smelled him and decided he wasn't food. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I that must be a bad smell. <laughs> <laughs> um, not the ordinary kind of bad, but mm -hmm. bad. Yeah. So anyway, it was it was a tricky situation for a while. But the point is that they had been given some difficult to understand statements from yeah. her about what is down here. They also found the body of a priestess of the or priest of the hawk god, who had obviously been exploring around this area. So, and that's why he's wearing that necklace that is protecting him at the moment. So, Because there was some kind of an incident. Yeah. <laughs> so, <Some tendency>. <laughs> <laughs> we might have op bar opened the bar doors for mm -hmm. that incident. Okay. Suppose so. <laughs> so. What shall we do? Uh, I just want to take my bow and string it. Mm -hmm. Um. You think it's gonna be like that? Mm -hmm. It's gonna hold well, up. Well, like I've got the. <laughs> I'm using it down here. I'll lose arrows, but I want to have something long distance in my hands. Mm -hmm. um, so, I'd like to peek around the corner very carefully because comfortably it is the right side of it. What do I see? As you look down this way, yes. it's very brightly lit, as I say. And remember how there were some interesting carvings and things in the walls as you yes. came to this area just above, in that the area right there. With yeah. The statues, the yeah. guardians. Yeah, it's the uh -huh. same kind of situation here, um, but they are more elaborate. And also, uh, there is a uh, a a what is the best way to put it? This area, unlike this one, looks organized. There are some. Uh, pieces of furniture along the corridor, along here. Uh, you can tell that it, that it ends in a staircase going down, that there are doors along the way, and you can uh, you can see that this area looks almost supernaturally clean, ordered, I don't know if you want to use the word safe, but it doesn't look like ruins. And you cannot tell where the light is coming from. There are no lanterns. There is no firelight. This is all a bit strange. I feel like we should have asked her if she, if she knew anything about that priest. I'm starting to regret not asking about the priest. <laughs> well, we didn't. I'm sorry. I should have done that. So. Things were a little bit tense. Yeah. <laughs> well, hand clean. Want to test what else may have changed? You have any long distance weapons? You want to <sighs> ever, ever shoot a no, ball? No, not. <laughs> Mm, not really what we were doing down there. He would have 20% base with a bow. 
I would like somebody who is covering me. Because mm -hmm. I'm thinking about going in there, testing my luck. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so. Well, I can always fend myself <laughs> in close quarters. But if I want to protect myself from the distance, I should <laughs> do it myself. That's what you say. Well, fine. Well, either this is going well, or you so have a new own. So you want me to go first then? Or no, 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 no. Let me go first. I this mean, strange things happening to me may help. Okay. All right. Suppose. Well, it's not going to help so if some madman comes out swinging with a sword, but maybe some other areas which I'm You not know what? This will help when someone swings with a sword. 